Okay, so for this quick lighting setup, uh, start we've got the camera set to ISO 100 and aperture 2.8, so you know it doesn't matter what camera you've got, ISO 100 is fine, and aperture wise, most people have a lens that can open to f2.8, and it's roughly what you would use for an internal scene like this, or at least what I would use. Um, okay, so we've got a large amount of windows here. But um, it's an overcast day, so it's not you know streams of harsh sunlight coming in. So so that helps. We're going we're going for quite a naturalistic, softish look um, here. Uh, so yeah, let's add a key light. So here I'm going to add an LED light. Uh, so this is an LED spotlight, um, but I've put an umbrella in front of it uh, just to help with that soft light. Um, as I said, you know, it's not harsh sunlight coming in, so I want to match the light we already have, um, which is nice soft, soft light that wraps around a little bit more. Um, so I think that's good, good start. Um, next thing I'll do is actually this practical lamp. Um, even though, uh, you know, the bulb won't actually have any impact on me, uh, lighting wise, I think, you know, it will create some depth and some colour to our scene. So let's try that. Okay, so that that is now on, um, and yeah, I think it's color-wise, it's a nice nice difference. Um, obviously, the LED I'm matching to the daylight, so that's the same color. Whereas this is a tungsten bulb, so um, will seem yellow or orange uh, on film um, as I'm white balanced to daylight. Um, so I think yeah, we're already looking pretty good. Uh, got a key light in, got a practical light um, to add some colour and depth. The only thing I'm not sure about is I'm pretty sure this back wall uh, will be a little bit dark um, and perhaps there's not much separation on this sofa and on myself. So uh, yeah, let's try and sort out with a uh, with bouncing some light off the wall. Okay, so the difference here won't be as much as you saw from both these lights um, and that's the clock chiming in the background uh, but it's bouncing off bouncing off this wall and just shedding a little bit of light on the sofa and on me here um, okay so just showing you what effect these lights have um, just giving you a bit closer look at my face so you can see how the light is falling on it um, also still kept that practical lamp in shot so you can see the nice contrasting colours um, and see how that works. Um, and yeah, it's just using two LED lights, very simple setup, um, just showing you know what you can do with not much. Um, because really you should always light, um, even if you only have one light at your disposal, or even if you only have the sun if you're outside, you still need to you know choose your angles um, and yeah, choose your placement really. Um, and yeah, if, if you have any ideas for uh, types of lighting you'd like to see or see me attempt to give you some tips on another thing, uh, just leave a comment and uh, yeah, I'll see what I can do. Okay, thanks.